Are you there, Billy? I'm all certainly am, Scotty. How are you, lad? Dinky do. Dinky do, Billy. Well, it's about the third time I call in. I'm at work. I can't mention where I work. Oh, yeah. No names, no I names, work. no pack drill. No, but, uh, but if you're working in Oldham, we know where it is. Yeah, well, <laughs> if they don't come out to your tap, then you won't be getting a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> As the seagulls fly over, you get too much calcium. <laughs> not quite, not quite. No, fluoride it is, actually. Fluoride. <laughs> don't tell me what happened about you because of it. <laughs> I, went in, I went in to get myself some toothpaste. They said, do you want fluoride? I said, no, I'll get enough of that. Oh, no, 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 it gives me enough of that anyway. Down the top. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh, you love. Get over, you're, gonna be, you're giving me cover blow up now. We'll get in trouble. We don't want to blow your cover, love. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> um, right. we'll go up. We don't, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bill will go up, love. Hey, uh, the pressure will go up. <laughs> <laughs> well, something like that, yeah. Either I mean, it'll go off completely. Tell me this, when I was a lads, right? Yeah. I remember me dad took us in to visit, visit his mate. Now, this is in the old days. You'll remember this because you've been about a long time. And, Who did all that? Oh, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I, well, something like that. I remember seeing you at Queen Victoria's funeral. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> You're only a lad with your sailor suit on and all that. Well, they did it, I would carry the cushion. Absolutely. <laughs> go, but there was no time it, that one in your pocket. Yeah, i <laughs> They'd done away with all that. <laughs> Now, listen, the thing is, um, you know, what, what, what was it? Oh, yes, yeah, so he took us up. Now, there was some sort of beam affair yeah. that went from side to side. Yeah. And you could see there was a, like a, a jet of water could shoot out of it. Yeah. What would that be? <laughs> it's a jet of water to me. Right, so obviously... So, 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 I, think obviously we, I think we progressed from there. I think the thing was needing attention. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but well, it was... We're, a, all go, we're all going on plastic now. And I remember seeing sluices and all that stuff, you know. Yeah. But of course, it's all changed. It's all like uh, it, it's all like a big power station now, isn't it? It's all oh, computerized and all that isn't stuff. Isn't it just? Yeah, it's all high tech now. You know, those were the days. It was all polished brass plates. You spent most of your shift polishing the brass. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or Tom mentioned somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Tom mentioned everybody. Yeah. Anyway, can I get, can try I get to, down to try, be quiet? Try, try, to start, with you. try to start the oil engines in case there was an increase in demand. <laughs> Middle of winter down at the bottom of the yard, yeah. Well, well, I always remember I went round to see the electricity board one day as well, and I couldn't believe it. It was just a big uh, row of diesel engines. <laughs> and the guy says, he says, I'll have to start one up. He says, yeah. I'll have to, he says, I'll have to start one up about 10 o'clock. I says, why is that when everyone starts making and tea and stuff. He says, no, that's when Scotty McClue's megaphone in comes on. He says, and all the radios go on. <laughs> well, this is it. You get a power surge and do it again, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's right, a, come on. Now, that's enough of that. Right. 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 Otherwise, I'll have to play the national anthem. We'll hear the no, seats. You won't do that. We'll hear the seats banging up. Right. No, <laughs> do you remember won't. that when you used to the national anthem came on and all you could hear was the seats banging up? You used to get, a, used to get a, a damn good clout round there, all if you didn't stand up. You did. I and all them. Everybody stood up at that time, you know, they because did. Churchill was the MP. Aye, <laughs> but they cobbed him out. <laughs> they, they did. They, they flung around, didn't they? I'll tell you something. In all them, they gave him the key of this. They gave them the key of the town. And because he weren't elected, he never come back again. No, they gave him the key of the town and they said, shut the door on your way out, Winston. Not wait, yeah. <laughs> He's still there up in Oldham's of Centre. Fantastic, isn't it? There, with a the blue suit on and all that. I don't know whether they wiped his fingerprints off and cleaned, and cleaned it and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just left him there for posterity, <laughs> so they can blame him the for The key something. of the centre. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, you like uh, that, do you? I love all... You've got my sense of humor. I love all that stuff, you know. <laughs> right. Now, get him, back right. To, get him back to that lady from real. There we go. He says, what happens if anybody nicks the civic key? He says, don't worry. <laughs> he says, it's not... <laughs> There's no one in all the way you can wait a minute. You've I, got to come to Manchester and right, see and, me. And he says, don't worry, it's not real brass anyway. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's all been sprayed on. It's come out of a cam. <laughs> That's good stuff, isn't it? <laughs> you see, when you give somebody the freedom oh, of holding, no, when, you, when you give somebody, no, when you give somebody the freedom of holding, they always bite the key, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> They're always coming up at the social well on Union Street and they're on a Monday morning. They all go get drunk on the on, on laughing. <laughs> because they all know it's right. That's lovely, isn't it? <laughs>
<laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I'll tell you something. You'll never, you'll never plug your pies at all. The oh, don't it. believe it. I don't. You can't. You can't get back with an empty tray there. Hi, I know, but we're all on meat puddings up here. Oh no, they love Scotty McClue's pies and Oldham's. You know, uh, because I was the, I was the rear gunner in the pie van. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, you give them a free pie, they'll give you a club dance. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you something, you're making mine, aren't you? <laughs> well, you're making mine, you are. <laughs> right, can I get on with what I want? Yes, to how many pounds per square inch do you want paid out in? <laughs> well, I don't know, just right to the checkout. <laughs> I'll tell you after who to make it out to, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can have as many of my checks as you like, they're not worth very much. Right, well, they all bounce. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, it's all right, I'll come and shut it off then. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it on the list for Monday morning. <laughs> they've, put us, they've, put us, they've put us a card in. <laughs> oh, they'll put your stamp by a bounce there. Absolutely, so I've, I've seen washing my neck. <laughs> I will, uh, <laughs> Well, you're well, up there. I don't know where you're from. If you don't want to up there, you just don't pick the nearest river, do Well, there's no problem up there. My God Almighty, you know, I'm surprised we even got a water board up there. Well, it's pure, <laughs> it's pure up there where you come from. Yeah, we're we're you. flogging to you lot there, I'll, I'll tell you, no, it's good stuff down there. I'll tell you, we shouldn't be piping it up there. <laughs> what I'll do you mean up there? <laughs> it's not that far up, you know. It's only 12 <laughs> miles away. <laughs> That's good stuff, isn't it? It is, it is. Well, it's always amazed me how people can charge for water, you know, when you see the amount of rain that falls in Manchester. Hey, <laughs> don't it, just. I don't know. <laughs> and it's all going down the grid. It, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah it does. Yeah, you can't, there's no point putting in a solar power window. It's all processed. <laughs> and then we get it back. Then we get it back, love. <laughs> now it makes me wonder. Oh, no, when, then. I've, when I've been out <laughs> on my day on my day off <laughs> and I go like that with the handle on the little house. Absolutely. I thought and I turned my top on I'm feeling thirsty, I thought, where's this come from? Absolutely, and I'll, <laughs> and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll tell you something else, I suspect that you've been responsible for the death of four canaries in the little house. <laughs> more than likely, more than likely. <laughs> you've actually killed more canaries than the Blitz. <laughs> oh, well, oh, no. yeah, well. Now then. Right, can I get up to the... Well, I wish you would, for heaven's sake. (laughs) Give us a chance. Did I not tell you about the water department? Knocked the door of the old lady's house. She said, what's to do? He says, we're putting in inside toilets. She says, I don't want all that muck in the house. Why did you think the big mechanic still come round? Oh, I remember. Do you know, I remember when the uh, the lad that we used to call the... House clerk came round. Yeah, I'm mechanic. <laughs> I, 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 I don't make it tight. He's <laughs> a cheese bossy and I'm a cheese bossy. He's having a cheese bossy and all that, and using <laughs> the wrappers, you know. And he's there, and I'll tell you, we'd had we'd had we'd had a breakdown with toilet, you see. And it, what had happened was the chain had come adrift, and it was one of them Victorian ones. Oh, yeah. You know, with a pool on it, the sort of porcelain handle with pool on it. Oh, you were bosh, were you? Oh well, they sell them in all. No, somebody had nicked it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had nicked it and put our bit of rope on theirs. What they pulled you on so it's all that stuff, and you know it used to. You know the handle used to come out the side of the high closet. Oh, and uh, I think one of that was the chain had gone. So it, it, he says, "I'll have to fill out a repair sheet." And then he said, and this is without a word of a lie, he says, "We don't have one of these." He says, "We'll have to come back on Monday." Folded the chain up and put it in top of the system. <laughs> <laughs> so what was I'm telling you straight so what was happening my dad was giving us a pun top right and he says see if you can flush it now he says both hands hang on hang on it we had to wait he says your mum's been in he says I'm going myself and then we'll flush it go in and have your tea you might wear a bit heavy because sometimes you used to eat your play piece before you went didn't you ah you did <laughs> Tell you something, this modern generation don't know the board. Oh, they don't really, don't they? They don't. Because no. I'll tell you something. Yeah, I remember uh, uh, this hotel. It was right up in the hills, right up in Lancashire Hills. And the lad, his wife had left him. He was running the hotel himself, and a rather posh lady had stopped. You see. Yeah. And uh, she came out and she was a bit disgusted. So she went out, she rang the bell, she went, ting! 
out he came, you know, and he says, he says, yes, love, you know, and she said, I have to tell you there is no lock on the lavatory door. He says, well, I have to tell you, love, that we've never lost a book of it yet. <laughs> Philosophy talking. Well, there you go. Right. Anyway, never mind all that. <laughs> right, can I get on to something? Let, let's get on with the light hearted stuff now. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> enough <laughs> enough well, serious well, chat. Not, not for me, light hearted, what we've been on about. <laughs> enough serious chat, I say. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> enough of all this, enough it of all this life. Right, like you're talking about that, I can't get it to you. Absolutely, enough of all this documentary stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody's being educated. Enough, of, enough of all this, what life were like yeah. in Oldham. Yeah. Last week. <laughs> no, no, it's not, it's not well, everybody says that and say, do you remember in the days before the war in Oldham and they say, it's like that now, what are you on about? <laughs> My cup of juice come round and give you a clout for saying nothing. He says he still does. <laughs> he says, what about the EEC? He says, oh, <laughs> the EEC. <laughs> yeah, they think it's something else. <laughs> he says, they haven't heard of the EEC up in Oldham. <laughs> <laughs> we have, but we don't want it. Now then, apparently you still kill your own beef cattle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's just, that's just on the way home. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Now then. Right, right. get it on to something serious. Let's there. get on, let's oh, get on. Oh, hold on, on one side. Let's get on to serious stuff. Right, there's this lady from, from Rill who wants to find right. her, her half-sister. Absolutely. Right, now this is really, truly serious. Absolutely. Now, I have a brother. Yeah. We're both suspected that we're half-brothers. Right. We've never pursued it. Right. I added... I mean, my father's dead, he, he was a, a what's-it for a big motor manufacturer. He was a what's-it for a what's-it? He, he was an engineer. He was a ring it out for a one-armed window cleaner. He was a, a metallurgist for a motor oh, manufacturer. Oh, brilliant, a metallurgist. Yeah. Yeah, a met metallurgist. Uh, well, it had air uh, stamped on it anyway. Aye. Uh, hey, brilliant. And it tested all the qualities of the metals. and it's Yeah, quite, it's quite well, a, it's it worked on aero engines and stuff like that. Do you really? The, the, the Merlins? No, the Merlins and the and the uh, Lancasters. Yep, that's it. Two thousand five hundred shaft horsepower they were. Fantastic. Do you remember the Pratt and Whitney's? Uh, yeah. I'm that, that, that's I'm the name of an. Two living next door to me now. That's that's the name of that's the name of an engine. That's yeah, not the name. Of, that's, that's not the name. That's not the name of the people you were in school with. If it's not, if it's not there, I don't trust them. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> so, do you remember the Pratt and Whitney's? Yes, said, I do. Yeah, the one in my class at school. Yeah. <laughs> come on now, Scotty. Oh, come on, come on, come on now. Half right. brother. So you took. So oh. you you had an half brother. No. You had a brother who you suspected was an half brother. Yeah. Right. Now during the fifties, he had to go. Obviously, he was called up in on national service and stuff like that. Oh God. Uh, he went into the parachute regiment. Right. He ended up in the desert. Came out and this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. Couldn't settle. He was married. He's five kids. Great kids there. Four lads and a girl. Brilliant. That's you're one of the lads. No, I'm his brother. Oh, you oh, sorry, right? But me and him suspected that there was something going on between my mother and my father's best friend while he was working away. Obviously, at crew. Right. What they call safe period. We left. We left. Left everything alone. We did not pry. Good lad. And I turned round to my father before he died, and I said, now tell me straight, father, is this certain person my brother? He says, to all intents and purposes, he is. That covers the We lot, don't look alike. Now I'm ten stone wet through. He's sixteen stone, the next pair of lad. Mm -hmm. And we just get on like a house on fire. Isn't that lovely? You're very fond of each other. We are. You're only ten stone. Yeah, ten stone wet through. He's six, he's about sixteen now. <laughs> he's sixteen stone dry as a <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And dry, he doesn't eat dry as a bone. Yeah, he, he hardly eats anything. And I eat like a horse and, <laughs> he, I'm, and I'm You've got an appetite like a camel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't put any weight on. <laughs> Ten stone. So, but leaving it alone. So it takes you longer to get to work in a windy day? Uh something like that. <laughs> yeah. I've got to what I've got to change my route every time if I know which way the wind's blowing, put it that way. <laughs> this is supposed to be a serious discussion. Yeah, well I'm only trying. Right, love. I mean I mean you keep switching me off, don't you, and going off on one. <laughs> now then Oh for the ladies excuse me. But that's the only advice I can give to that lady. Leave well alone. 
Hey, hey, brilliant. If she wants, I mean, obviously, this lady's half sister has mm. lived all this time without a help. If she wanted to get in touch with her and find out, oh, right. she would have done. Because they'll know. I mean, well, this cousin's. I mean, I mean you're opening a can of worms. Yeah. And it can't be done. If you can live in harmony, that's what life's all about. You're opening a can of hornets. Oh, to some you, tune. You, you're, you're stirring up a nest of vipers. I'll tell you something. Yes. Me and my brother know. I've always called him my brother. We look after one another. I'm the first one on the phone if anything goes wrong. He yeah. lost his wife last year. I was the first shoulder that he cried on. You just, he, couldn't, he couldn't hack it. You just adore that man, don't you? I do. I do. And he loves you. And I'll tell you something. What did he do to your father? Yeah. When you saw that, when you saw Pegasus on his cap, on his cherry Oh, Pegasus on the cap, absolutely. Oh, yes. Now, now that needs a lot of earning, that. Yeah. How I'm did not. you know that? Have you been listening? I listen to you every night. Scott. So you know me father had Pegasus in his cap? I do. He did indeed. I know he did. He I did he dropped it down him and all. The rainbow. Oh, I'll tell you something, I'll tell you somebody else who dropped with him. Yeah. But I can't, and he was called, I'll not mention last name, but be, he was called Vinny. Be your be a dad. No, no Vinny, Vinny that comes on, aye. No, no. Vinny, Vinny he used to keep a pub in all them. No names, no, no pack No names, drill. no pack drill. But he, he dropped on Vinny was the boxing champion, lightweight boxing champion for the parachute regiment then. I'm a man now, my dad would know him. He would. He would know him. Now tell me this. Ron. Do you, do you genuinely think that your brother is your half-brother? Yeah. Do you definitely know? I don't definitely know without a DNA test. But, but you're not that bothered? I couldn't give a monkey. You just, you know, you couldn't I've give a monkey. He's 12 years older than me, mm. so I just couldn't give a monkey. If and I want anything, I go to him. And if he wants anything, he comes to you. He comes to me. And why not? And the thing is... And the thing is, at the end of the day, Scotty, human beings... A human being. Absolutely. Everybody makes mistakes, but they learn from them. Well, they I used mean, to I say... I mean, women are all different than fellas. Mm. Oh, definitely. So, you've got to live with it. Well, they used to say, everyone makes a mistake, but it's a silly man that makes the same mistake twice. Why, right, that's correct. Tell me this. Have you and your brother discussed it? Yeah. Right. We're convinced. Brilliant, isn't it? We're convinced. We both like... This. The thing is... We don't even like the same music, because I like classical music. Tell me this, out of interest, Yeah. your mother, did she treat you both just the same? No. Right, that's interesting, isn't it? Now she, tell me more. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what she did, Scotty. They'll probably know who I am, actually, we're telling you this. No, don't be telling me too much. We were both beaten to within an inch of us lives. Right. Whereas, now, can I, can I name a place? Outside of Oldham, which is a oh, it's a well-known spot for sightseeing and stuff like that. Absolutely. Chatterton. Oh, no. <laughs> God's sake. I've seen a few sights up there, I'll tell you. I'll bet you have, yeah. <laughs> but you've seen more sights than a copper storage in Chatterton, I'll tell you. <laughs> seen more sights than a copper's knock. <laughs> I've seen more sites than the duty inspector. Yeah, I'll say, yeah. <laughs> and that's without having a mint, Nick. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, that, now then. If you're going to walk towards Home Firth. Home Firth? Yeah. A place I love very much. Right. Now you know True Valley, don't you? I do. Right. Well, when he was 15, to get out of the road, he used to go up there every weekend, Friday night, come back Sunday. Until he was of age to go into the army to get out of her way. Yeah. I thought it was a load of rubbish, obviously because I was twelve yeah. I'm twelve years younger than him. Until it came my turn and I got it. And I actually on more than one occasion was abused and got mm. leaded with a steel dog leash. That's too much, isn't it? Until I even went to the point where I even set fire to my own hair. Oh my in a coal fire looking for Father Christmas when I were a little kid. Oh bless you. I'm not, think, think I'm not, what, if, if the fire was that flaming hot, think of the state of Father Christmas. Yeah, well think of the state of chimney breast, it's a wonder it didn't blow up. Do you know what I could never work out about Father Christmas? What for? Right? We had twelve windows and three doors in our house. And he came down chimney. Yeah. Well he must have been an Irishman. <laughs> oh, you've seen <laughs> Right, you've caught a lot of talk. Oh, just a we apologise to everyone from the Emerald Isle. The man got carried away. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Please excuse me. Please excuse me, because my best friend's an Irishman. Over in Ireland, there's a phone-in going on right now, and they're telling the same story about Santa, and they're saying, well, he must have been from Oldham. <laughs> yeah, and well, they're all laughing, yeah, they're well, all can laughing I, and clapping. Hey, that's marvellous, that is. <laughs> right, just a minute now. Right. 
I've, in, I've, in, I've been said that. I think she'd be very, very well advised to leave alone. Leave well alone. I'll leave curiosity to the next door's Tomcat. Listen now, Billy, I've been grateful to you for your call. I'm going to have to minute, there's something else I'm well, to go, I'll get sacked, and I know you'd no, like you won't, you won't, you won't, you won't, you won't. Okay. Uh, just a minute, hang on. You know that gentleman who was on last night? Yes. Uh, the medium. The medium, yes. Now, you're a very well-educated man. I know that. Now, just a point of view, or something to, for you to think about when you go home. Don't you think that there's all sorts of these paranormal activities that we are living in, who are living side by side with us, that we can't see? Oh, yes. I mean, in other words, we could be going down the fast lane and the M6, they could be coming back on somewhere else on Orson Carrots, but we can't see them. You can't see them. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a story before I go. Go on. There was a lady in Scotland, and she used to clean in one of the big bank offices. Yeah. And her daughter came in, her granddaughter, in fact, it was, came in to help her one night, right, to get through all the, because you know how they have to polish the big brass plates and all yeah. that. She went downstairs to the bank vault, which obviously all the doors are locked up, but just to brush up and what have you. Yeah. And she came up absolutely ashen. And her grandmother looked at her and straight away she said, you've seen them, haven't you? And she said, don't worry, lass. She said, these are just poor folk. Yeah. Now, what had happened was the bank was built on Edinburgh Old Town, which had been hit by the plague, and all these people weeping and being sad down the bank vault. Had, had died of the plague. I, and had been relatives of those that had died of the plague. Oh. And the the grandmother had seen them on many an occasion, on many an occasion, and that's absolutely genuine true. Indeed, funny though, and it makes you think whether whether we are living on a on a, a different plane, and yeah. or, I mean, people, and, and you were I, mean, I mean, different different people. I mean, well educated people. Oh yes, or, you know, I mean, they're all seeing different things. But you were talking different you... different phenomenon. I'm not going into these. No, no, you know what I'm you, about. Were, you were talking, I believe, there about the the aircraft and that. I also know somebody that went to visit uh, a Second World War airfield. Yeah. And they were in one of them. You know the way the brick huts were built. I do. And they were in standing there, and they looked round, and there was a pilot with his Irvin jacket, the lot. Sheesh. And that that did frighten him. He said. I bet it did. But there he was with the oxygen mask, the helmet, the Irvin jacket on, the full bit. Hey. You think, don't it? Makes you think, oh, Billy, I'll have to dash or I'll be not getting time to think. I'll get me, me backside, I'll get tanned, I'll be out the door and, uh, you know. Just please. do us a favour, say dinky doo to our Alistair. Uh, dinky doo to our Alistair. Okay, and I'll speak to you later. And uh, you take it and listen now, Billy, come Christmas. Yeah. Get yourself down one of the big stores and sit on Santa's knee. I can't, I'm working. No more head up chimney, all right. All right, I'll yeah. Be, and I'll have a glass of water Christmas Day, thanks. Right, okay, I'll make sure it's on for you. God bless our Billy. Okay. Night, night, night. Night, night. Night, night, boss. Scotty McClue's late night phone-in. Have you phoned yet? Stinky-doo. 